Welcome cuties, let's create. Good afternoon everybody. I'm excited for this one because this is something new. So this is something I got for Christmas. Um, this is needle felting. So what needle felting is, is you'll, and I, you can tell I've been kind of practicing and that's my first project ever. So this is gonna be my second project ever. <laughs> but um, this kit is really cool and I'll have it in the description but it comes with everything you need and needle felting is is you have this wool and you poke it a bunch of times with these needles and these needles are different than just your regular sewing needles these needles are um they have i try to show it it's very difficult to really show but they have these little barbs or these little cut ends and so what it does is you're basically matting up the wool and creating felt <laughs> in a sense and it's cool because you can make it as squishy as you want or as like hard as you want and the more you poke it so you just poke it a bunch of times and that's the thing is it's it's really fun to do um because you can create so many little things with it um and it's very mindless because you can just watch something you know like i watched youtube and created this at the same time so you may see my computer in the in the corner and that's because I wanted to watch something while doing this, um, especially because I'm new, so it takes a while. But um, so what I did is I got, first of all, what I'm putting on that it came with are these thick leather protectants because <laughs> in the background, the whale that I have been practicing with, oh my gosh. I poked myself quite a few times and let me tell you it hurts really bad <laughs> so i wear these when um i wear them periodically when i know that i can hold it further away and i won't be poking near my fingers then i go ahead and take them off but Warning, if you try this, please wear protectant because it hurts like crazy. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Anyway, so there's that. But um, I tried to find a good angle to really kind of show you guys, but it's really kind of difficult. So you'll just see my hand move a bunch of times. I think I end up do finding a better... Um, a better angle but still it's uh yeah so this one i'm gonna have to play around with because i do want to show you guys some more things that you can create and make um so the thing that i'm holding uh that i kind of showed a little earlier is it's cool because it has many different needles and it's nice because it m mats it up I guess to say a lot faster than just poking it with one and then it was cool because I went to Daiso and they had a couple of needles and so I was like yay I'm just gonna get more because um, sometimes your needle will break um, but as you can tell it's it's still it's it's harder than just like this wool and um, yeah so there's that <laughs> um it's kind of difficult it's a little tricky to like work with and so um i'm definitely still trying to get the hang of it and um i feel like it, it doesn't it didn't turn out too bad knowing that this is my second time doing this um i really like it and yeah it's crazy because it's like soft to the touch because it's like wool you know but it's like so hard like i can like barely squish it it's crazy it's it's so weird but um but yeah i just have the little thing that i created and it just sits on my desk and it's just so cute um 
But I decided to do this because I feel like lately I've been doing a lot of art videos, a lot of drawing videos, and I have noticed that those don't do very well, more than my craft videos. Um, I still will continue to do both. Um, I struggle with the craft videos because sometimes I don't know what to make. And so please, please comment down below like if you would like to see me try anything or do anything. Like I I want to know because sometimes coming up with ideas is hard and especially coming up with ideas that people actually want to watch and see. You know, I don't, I don't want to create content that people are like, uh, this is so boring. Um, so please comment. I, I would love suggestions of what to do because, um, and you know, I'm open to trying any type of craft or, you know, artwork that you would like me to see or any, um, yeah, just any art medium that you would like me to try. I would, I would gladly do it <laughs> and kind of talk about um, my thoughts on it. So, because especially ever since the holidays, I don't know why I've been having, a, I've been really struggling with um, kind of, I guess, I've been having art block. But it's not just art block. I've been feeling cre creative block. I, I'm like, I don't know what to create. I don't know what to craft. I don't know what to draw. So I'll, sometimes I'll like sit at my desk and I'm like, okay, I'm going to draw. But then I'm like, I don't know what to draw. Like, I don't know. I just, and yeah. So I feel like I'm kind of stuck in this rut and I have been kind of feeling a not necessarily like depressed but like I've been feeling a little like stuck a little like stagnant I guess you could say um just because I don't I don't know I have felt I've been definitely comparing myself to others and I know we shouldn't do that and we sh but the thing is there should be especially in the art world, there should be a little bit of comparing um, just so you can get better and, you know, go, oh, I like the way that they do this, so I'm going to try and do this. And then you kind of tweak it and make it your own, right? Um, so there's kind of in that aspect, I guess you could say, is kind of comparing. Um, but I'm to the point where it's like, I am not liking how any of my artwork's turning out, and yeah, it's, <laughs> I don't feel as successful, I, and the hard thing is, is like, I don't know, it's just a struggle. I'm not good at marketing, I'm not good at like, I guess you could say selling myself, because that's kind of what you're doing. You're, you know, you're trying to tell people, hey, this is why you should watch or look at my content as well as other people so it's really really tricky and i i don't know i i just want to make this my career and you know i even want to open up like an etsy shop um you know selling prints and selling stickers um selling things that people can download and use um but I'm also really nervous because I have tried in the past doing an Etsy shop. I tried to do um, like greeting cards and stuff like that, but it didn't work out. And it probably was my fault because I didn't really market anything. It was just like, hey, I have a shop and that was it. Um, you know, I'm definitely going to put more time and effort this go round. But I'm I'm nervous because it's it's one of those things that... You don't know how successful it's going to be and so it's kind of a big risk of you know I'm not putting out myself you know hundreds of dollars you know where some people you know taking a big um, creating their own business the nice thing with Etsy is it's you know only a couple dollars here and there and um, especially with you know, I have a computer and I have a printer and like I have the things to like make things. Um, and I kind of wanted to do that instead of doing like craft things because it's cheaper to ship and stuff like that. But 
that will be in the future. I'm still trying to, I kind of want to work up a couple of different things that people can buy. Um, but like I said, I'm nervous because I'm nervous of what, I don't know if it's going to do well. And that's kind of one of the risks you have to take sometimes is sometimes it's not going to go well. And that's just, <laughs> that's just what it is. And that that kind of scares me so not gonna lie but anyway back to the video that's just my random tangent for today it's kind of nice because I feel like I can like go on this spiel and then it's like okay well now I have all my thoughts into the world <laughs> um but um this was actually really cool and I actually really like needle felting and I would be very curious to see how big I can make something because I have seen a lot of people and they normally make really small things, um, you know, just a couple inches tall, little inches wide, um, but it's one of those things that I'm like, hmm, I wonder, because when I have future children, I'm like, oh, it would be so cool to like make you know like everyone has like the toy kitchen right and i know it comes with the plastic stuff and i'm totally fine of using the you know the plastic fake food but i'm like oh it'd be so cool i've seen so many things on pinterest where people will make um like food out of felt and sometimes it looks so realistic and i'm like i really want to do that but i'm wondering if i could make it through needle felting i'd probably have to use a lot of felt but um yeah i i'm very curious i don't i mean i don't know if i'll like try it now because i'm still like trying to learn everything um but this was kind of fun and I really suggest if you're interested getting this kit because it comes with so many different colors and it comes with all the tools that you need. It comes with te tweezers, it comes with these little scissors that what, <laughs> I mean I'm not good because so the other thing is the more you poke it the less matted and frizzy it will look but again I'm still not good at it <laughs> so I'll still have it a little frizzy and I'll just kind of snip off the little frizz that I see and so I use the scissors I don't know if that's what they're used for but that's what I use them for and it works fine um the thing is is once you poke it and once you get it like matted there's no undoing it unless you like cut it apart but it's not gonna turn back into the wool that you originally had like it's that's just not what it does and so um <clears throat> yeah so that's the one thing is like what you get is what you see and what whatever you poke is gonna be there permanently so and I'm really struggling with the little whale that I made because I just feel like it doesn't look good so anyway um something that's really hard for me is creating little tiny things so I tried to like make a little nose um, but that was really hard and it didn't turn out very well um, so it's a struggle where like doing like you know making a ball or whatever it gets easier but I don't know that's just me and that's kind of what I went through and it's definitely a learning process and the cool thing is is it came with these little tiny eyes and so um, and it comes with oh, I can't think of what it's called but you poke uh, a hole into the thing and it's not using the same needle it's using a different one and you poke a hole into where you're going to put the eyes and because the eyes are just like a little bead that have kind of a needle but they don't have sharp edges it's a blunt edge um but then you put it in and they're so cute oh my gosh um but what I ended up doing is I ended up getting a paint marker and then just putting like a little dab on um each eye so it has a little glisten <laughs> 
it's I mean it's definitely not anything special or anything but I think it's so cute and it's my second try and I think it turned out really well and it's definitely a hobby that I want to continue and so give this video a like if you would like to see me do more videos um, of needle felting and just kind of I've been deciding whether or not I should do like speed paints and like not talk and just sometimes it's mesmerizing just to watch people create and just like see but I don't know we'll see we'll see what the future holds we'll see what this year is gonna hold and I this was fun it was cute and yeah have a good day Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, give the video a like or a comment, stay a while and watch a couple more episodes, and until next time, keep creating!